I am in Guayabo, Costa Rica today, and we're on the outskirts of a national park called Rincón de la Vieja, which is another volcanic national park. And this town, Guayabo, is, is off the beaten path, and Costa Rica is the most expensive country in Central America, but I wanted to show you that the budget backpacker still can afford to travel Costa Rica. I'm gonna take you around, I'm gonna show you my room. Our room costs $27 on Airbnb. It's a nice room. It's got uh, hot water, Wi-Fi, even has a television that we're not using. Um, a balcony overlooking the street here. And then right below um, the room is a soda, which is a traditional little, <clears throat> they call it fast food or comida rapida or um, comida tipica, typical food in Costa Rica. So there's a little soda restaurant right below our hotel here. Four dollar breakfast. So it's a traditional Costa Rican meal of, of gallo pinto, which is rice and beans. It normally comes with an egg, um, maybe some meat or some cheese and some plantains. So I just got the rice and beans, plantains, got a little chimichurri, which is kind of like pico de gallo, and coffee, all for only four bucks. So a $27 hotel room, $4 breakfast. I'm loving Guayabo so far. Perfect for a bu budget backpacker traveling Costa Rica. There's lots of little gems like this scattered all throughout the country. And the point is like, if you're gonna be in a very touristy area, you're gonna spend more and you're not really gonna get necessarily more for the similar accommodations and similar food. You're gonna pay twice, sometimes three times as much in a much more popular area. So today we're gonna head up to Rincon de la Vieja. There's some waterfalls, some beautiful hiking up there. And then probably after that, we're gonna hit off some uh, aguas termales or natural hot springs. Let's go check out Rincon de la Vieja. I'm filled up on my $4 breakfast in Guayabo. So the volcanic crater is actually closed. You used to be able to hike up to the top of it and there is a lake at the top like Sarachato. However, it's active. It's not erupting, but it is producing a gas it's toxic to breathe, so they've shut off that part of the trail. So, waterfalls it is for us. Well, I found that cool, what looks like an underground river that goes into that cave underground. I was thinking about jumping in there, but I'm up top now and I have no idea where it comes out. I mean, it could be full of logs and who knows, it could come out the size of a mud hole or something. So, not gonna jump in this trip. So it is 75 degrees Fahrenheit here today, and I have to say it's beautiful, perfect temperature. Um, no rain. It looks like based on the moss and the vegetation growth, doesn't get as much rain here as um, the areas we were in before, Rio Celeste and Arenal, but I must say, it's not humid at all. So far, no mosquitoes. It's a beautiful day for hiking today in Rincón de la Vieja. So there's two waterfalls here, or cataratas in Espanol. In Spanish, they're called cataratas or cascadas. There's one that goes up that way that the ranger told us is distance-wise shorter, but the altitude gain is much higher. It's more like rock scrambling, rock climbing, boulder hopping, a much tougher climb. From this point, I believe he said it takes another two and a half hours. So we're gonna go to La Cangrea, the one we came to see today, the blue water. Um, this other one, Escondidas, doesn't have the blue water. So we may check that out tomorrow, 
uh, but we're definitely gonna check out Cangrea right now. You can actually see we've entered a transition zone here where further back it was rainforest. We're moving into the dry tropical forest now. The change in the landscape, smaller canopy, less moss, less, a little less green as well. So you can see that transition where this area gets a lot less rain. The plant life reflects that. to La Congreja waterfall. And as you can see, it is absolutely stunning. The blue water, the giant falls, the vines, the lush vegetation around it. And we just found out there's a little hot springs right next to the waterfall. This is absolutely amazing.
infamous.